What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Ninja Foodie. And today, I'm going to make a Ninja Foodie whole chicken. Hey, boy, you got a hole in your shirt. We're going to keep this real simple. I'm going to put some Slap Your Mama right in there. We didn't catch it. I sneezed like three times. This stuff is spicy. Woo! All right. All right, let's take the cover off. All right. All right, I'm going to pour a cup of water in there. Three nice squirts of liquid smoke. That's optional. I just like to do that. Oh, we're rocking and rolling. So now I'm going to put my air fryer basket in with my whole chicken. And that is shy of three pounds, by the way. I think it was like 2.8. So I believe, well, the manual says it can fit up to a five pound. If you do about four and a half, five pounds, make sure you tie the legs. It should go in fine. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on. My pressure cooker lid on, should I say. Alright. Make sure that it's on seal, which it is. Cool beans. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and hit pressure. It's on high, so I'm going to hit my time. Need 15 minutes. And I'm going to hit start. We're getting up there to pressure. I can smell that liquid smoke already. Alright guys, let's open it up. Now see, when you pressure cook meat, see how it looks? Pretty pale, huh? But we're going to fix that. Got my Evo sprayer in the house. It's got some olive oil in there and I'm just going to hit it olive oil and then I'm gonna brush on some of this chicken rub really want to put some kicking chicken but I, I didn't have enough so I'm just gonna sprinkle some on and then get use my brush and like paint it on now you can put it in a bowl as a rub you could do it that way that's fine any way you want to do it is fine you could have even now that I'm thinking about it, I could have put this on before um, I put it in the pressure cooker and just had it on, but I just want to do it this way to just show you how versatile this machine can be and how versatile you can be when you're making your meals. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm going to close my air fryer lid down okay I'm gonna go ahead and hit air fryer crisp default is 390 I'm gonna go up to 400 and I wanna do I'm gonna start off with 10 minutes and see how it looks I hit the start button Okay. 
so now it's good. All right, let's open it up and see what we got. All right, all right, you hear that? So now it's time to flip it over and get the other side. Oh, one thing I want to mention, I did um, hit it again with some, um, I spritzed it with some olive oil like halfway through. And I added uh, two more minutes, uh, three more minutes. So I did it for like 13 minutes, 12 or 13 minutes, I don't remember. <clears throat> All right, flipped it over. Now I got to do this side. I see it's a, some, um, it's got some natural oil on there or whatever. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to hit it with any olive oil just yet. And... Judging from the other side, I'm not going to put as much seasoning on it as before. I want this side to be nice. So I'm just going to brush it on. It smells absolutely fantastic. Now I'm just going to do this side definitely for just 10 minutes because this, this side is not going to, it shouldn't take as long. It really shouldn't. It's coming along good though. All right, guys, I'll do I'll do ten minutes and see what happens. All right, guys, we are all done. Let's check it out. There she goes. That was just for ten minutes. I didn't do anything. I didn't hit it with any, I didn't spritz it with any more oil or anything like that. And we are done. Check the temperature. Alright, 179. Yep, that's done. Cool. So this is what it looks like, the air fryer basket. Not too bad. Just rinse the air fryer basket out real quick. I'm not quite done yet. While the whole chicken is cooling off, letting them juices flow, I'm gonna make me some uh, mixed vegetables. Finish off this bag I got here. Crazy part right now, I could pressure cook it or air fry it. But I'm gonna air fry it. We got five minutes left. I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle some seasoning on it. And then I'm gonna mix it up in about uh about two two minutes. Alright guys, I'm gonna mix everything up a little bit. Since I can't shake it. Gonna mix it up, and we got about we got about three minutes left. Make sure everything's apart, and that should do the trick. Yeah, that's good. Right, we are all done. Love the smell of red onion, y'all. Looking good. All right. All right, guys. There you have it. So I'm going to cut some up so we can get to eating. So we can get to eating. I always go for the legs first. Legs, wings. Get some of that out. You can see it. I'll turn it over so you can see. See? Look at all that juice. I don't know if you can see it, but it is juicy. Alright, let me make my plate. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Y'all know how we do.
All right, guys, I'm ready to eat. So first, let's take this little drumstick here. Take a look at it. I'll take a bite first. Got it? All right. Mmm. It just fall off the bone good, man. Once you take it out of the pressure cooker, it just falls right off. And then you have the you have the crispness of the air fryer. And then it's just too good. Y'all gotta go ahead and have some of this skin with me. I got it. Mmm. Man, that is good. Man, that is good. All right. I'll have some of this. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is good right there. Get that. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this, guys. This is some good stuff. Mm. Shout out to Shirley, my admin of all my groups on Facebook. She put, she put the groups on to this device, the um, Ninja Foodie. And so far, I'm enjoying it. I like it. It's not going to be for everybody, but I definitely enjoy it. I think it's a great idea, and, and I'm happy that I had a chance to demonstrate it for you guys. If you have an Instagram, um, look me up on there, Cooking with Doug. Um, if you have a pressure cooker... Or if you have this device, definitely join my pressure cooker group. It's called Pressure Cooking with Doug. I put a link in the description. Also, if you have an air fryer or this device, join my group. Um, my air fryer group on Facebook. We have over 48,000 members there. So, no matter what you have, if you have any of those or both, join my group. Share your recipes. Get recipes. Other than that, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe, and if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug.